Hi guys, welcome back. Did you know today is the last Sunday in June? That means next Sunday when you come, it's going to be July. Oh my gosh, I'm hot just thinking about that. Can you believe it's going to be July? Oh my gosh, maybe we better play a game and I might forget about how hot it is. Are you ready to play our I Spy game with me today? Remember how to make your binoculars? And if you watch the Facebook, you might have made some binoculars with toilet paper rolls. Let's start our game and I'm going to tell you something to look for. Check out the big black wall. I spy with my little eye a picture of Jesus. Look for it. Do you see it? Oh, you're right. There's one, two, three pictures of Jesus on our wall. And our stories about Jesus are all in our New Testament. And our Bible is full of all kinds of books about Jesus and God. I have three pictures of stories that are from the Old Testament. I'm going to tell you to look for one. I spy with my little eye picture of Noah and his ark. Can you find it? I spy it. There it is. Let's look for another one. I spy with my little eye a picture of Daniel in the lion's den. Look for it. Do you see it? I spy. There it is. Let's do one more. I spy with my little eye a picture of Jonah and the whale. Look for it. Do you see it? I spy. There it is. Jonah and the whale. You know, that was so much fun. I almost forgot how hot I was. It's time to go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Today's story is going to be about a fisherman. I bet he's never caught a fish as big as that one. But you're going to enjoy the story. So come back and see me next time. Bye!
know what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Holly and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. friends and welcome to the clubhouse. It's me, Lucy, and my friend Poppy left us some secret words to find. All I have to do is paint this page. See? I think there's a secret word on here somewhere. Let's keep painting. Do you spy the secret word? I spy with my little eye the word Hello, that's how you say hi in English. Can you turn to your neighbor and say hello? Hello to all of you. Should we do another one? I'm gonna try blue this time. Do you spy the new secret word? I spy with my little eye the word hola. That's hello in Spanish. Can you say hola with me? Hola. Now turn to your neighbor and say hola. Yes, I love it. You just said hello in two different languages. Wow. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hola, Lucy. Who? Who? Telling each other hello, are you? Poppy left us these fun different ways to greet each other. Saying hello is fun. Ho, ho. But there's so much more to tell others too. So let's hear this story. Just follow me through. Ho, ho. Follow me through. and welcome to my cupcake food truck. Do you want to see today's special? Ta-da! <laughs> They're my Tell All the World Cupcakes. I made them because today's story is about how we can tell the whole world about Jesus. If you're ready for a story, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three, tell me a story. Today we are going to play I Spy to find a man named Peter. Do you see him? Get out your pretend binoculars. Look with me. Ready? I spy with my little eye. Peter! Peter was a fisherman. That means he would get in a boat and go out on a lake to catch fish. Peter believed in Jesus because Peter saw that Jesus is alive with his very own eyes. Jesus told Peter and his other friends that he would come back again. But until then, he wanted them to tell everyone that Jesus is alive. And he wants to be their friends forever. Then he left and went to heaven. Jesus' friends did just what he told them to do. They told everyone everywhere Jesus is alive. He wants to be your friend forever. One day, some men who were different than Peter came and knocked on his door. Knock with me, ready? Knock, knock, knock. They asked Peter to come to their house and tell all their friends about Jesus. Peter knew that Jesus loves everyone, no matter what they look like or what language they speak or where they live or what they have done. So Peter said he would go to their house even though they were different than him. Do you see someone that Peter can tell about Jesus? Look with me. Ready? I spy with my little eye someone Peter can tell about Jesus. Peter told his new friends all about Jesus, even though they were different than him. Peter told them about the amazing things that Jesus did. He told them about how Jesus died and came back and is alive. He told them he knows Jesus is alive because he talked with Jesus and even ate food with him. 
After Peter told his new friends all about Jesus, they believed in Jesus too because everyone can believe in Jesus. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <laughs> oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus is alive, and we can tell everyone about it, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Ho, ho. Wow, Peter got to tell everyone that Jesus is alive because everyone can believe in Jesus. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. I love that we can tell everyone about Jesus, no matter how they say hello. Let's see if Poppy left us more words to spy. See you later, bye. These are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, John 20, 31. These are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, John 20, 31. Yeah.